Hello. There you are. Caught me at home in my usual attire. Um, I'm Pierre Galloway, and this is going to be my funk presentation. Uh, so here goes. As soul began to experiment with the rock textures of the late 60s, funk emerged. Funk kept the groove of soul, but made it deeper. It also added a great reliance on improvisation, much like the blues rock kind of thing that was going on at the time. Uh, James Brown and the likes of uh, Sly and the Family Stone were the godfathers of funk. Brown's funk was kind of stripped down and spare, well, kind of Sly's is more kind of wilder and drew more from the, the rock and roll. George Clinton, however, uh, the leader of uh, Parliament and Funkadelic and uh, P Funk, and basically the major kind of funk artist, the godfather of funk possibly, um, well, he was a bit different, you know. He uh, expanded on the, the blueprint but added wild kind of conceptual fantasies derived from the psychedelia of uh, Sgt. Pepper's the kind of counterculture uh, kind of humour of Frank Zappa but the main signature of Clinton's music was how he kept working the one groove how he jammed over a deep bass line and adding instrumental breaks most funk bands of the 70s picked up on this groove maybe not the concepts but uh, it's one of those ones eh? after funk or through funk hip hop kind of grooves came around you had uh, in the 90s uh, and the, well, the 80s, and they would expand both on sound and concept. However, funk music is generally described as a type of music that has an intense groove, has an intense groove even, uh, which makes it strong funk bass, kind of wacky guitars, more kind of syncopated rhythmic kind of patterns on the guitars, focusing on the chords, and leaving the, the dance and the, and the melody <coughs> to the bass. Uh, pretty much. The main instruments I would say bass, drums, uh, guitar, and I don't have a brass section, but at the time it's obviously very popular with the likes of the, the James Brown band. Uh, the bass is an essential element in funk. Before the genre came around, uh, it wasn't as well high up in the mix on the tracks, you know. Uh, the bass guitar was not heavily used in other styles, but however, in funk, the bass guitar, the instrument itself, which provides the melodic kind of bass line, usually the song's centerpiece, leaving the guitar just to kind of fill in on the shiny gaps. Uh, the combination of uh, the finger kind of popped high notes and thumb slap notes, or low notes, kind of like, I'm not very good at this, but you can feel. That kind of slappy stuff, which as a drummer I'm not too good at. Uh, they focused on the kind of the low note and the high note, trying to kind of emulate the sound of a you know like a drum kit kind of um ka um ka. Uh, main kind of obvious characteristics is uh, funk music focused on, on the first beat of the bar, you know, uh, four four timing kind of stuff at the time before funk, more focused on the back beat, uh, the kind of one two three four that kind of feel to it, whereas uh, the bass and well funk itself more focused on on the one uh, which you could say James Brown invented I'm not too sure it's one of those ones um, but as far as um, the bass is concerned it was more playing the melodies focusing on the one so kind of one two three four one two three four one, two. and then you've got the gaps in between so <laughs> So forth. Um, other instruments. Well, get rid of this hat. Get rid of this guitar. Pick up a real guitar. Put that on. The guitar kind of mainly, mainly with more, more rhythmic in a sense. You know, so kind of. That kind of feel, you know, like the end of uh, Papa's got a brand new bag, for instance. The whole that kind of hook to it, you know. Uh, 
So combined with the bass and the guitar, you had the drums on top of that. Take the guitar off. Do that somewhere safer. And drums. Well, you've got the bass doing its thing, focusing on the melody. The guitar is more syncopated, having that kind of groovalicious dance of ability to it, you know. And the drums play something four four, nice and simple. But focusing on the one, the kind of Can I say? Well, for the lead work there was a brass section, something that I don't really have my fingers on at the moment. And the brass section would uh, fill, the, fill the gaps, fill, fill the kind of groove, fills in a sense, and uh, make it all warm and fuzzy over the repetition of the, the drum beat. Uh, you could say, again, like I said before, James Brown's band uh, kind of established the funk beat. The modern street funk uh, 1960s, the funk beat was heavily syncopated, had an aggressive, pulse to it. Uh, and obviously like I was saying it was kind of more focused on the one, the first beat of the bar, rather than uh, well other things at the time. <laughs> so if I play around with my delay pedal, I put a bass line in. <laughs> Funk, I think. Um, well, can I say about funk? Well, apart from all the technical stuff and the stylistics and uh, the characteristics I kind of went over, um, funk was more about feeling the funk, you know. Um, at the time, there was a lot, a lot of bad stuff going on. Uh, with the riots and stuff, people were pretty aggressive with each other, and funk music was kind of like uh, something that spurred out of that, you know. Um, you could say that it developed. Well, the term funk developed and evolved through the vernacular of jazz improvisation in the 1950s as a reference to performance styles which were pretty uh, passionate and reflect reflected the black experience. Black. Oh dear. Uh, the word signified the association with harsh realities, unpleasant orders, uh, tales of tragedy, violence, erratic relationships, crushed aspirations, racial strife. Uh, and flights of imagination that expressed unsettling yet undefinable truths about life. So there you go, there's my, there's my presentation of funk. Thanks a lot. See you bye!